Sally, congratulations. You're off to Germany to play in the pre Women's Premier League over there. Uh, how did that all come about? Um, I guess it was only really the past couple of weeks that I've really been considering um, going overseas and made a few contacts in terms of um, signing up with a with an agency and since then there's been a few clubs showing interest and it just so happened to be that Bayer Leverkusen, I guess, do you say won me over? I don't know. Um, it was just the most appealing opportunity for me at the time and to be you know, over in Germany, I guess, in perhaps a week and a half, it's pretty exciting times. It is exciting and you're not the only Matilda to be going over overseas, um, uh, quite a few of the uh, players have picked up contracts. Um, do you think that's come off the back of the World Cup performance or the W League? What do you think has brought this on? Um, there'd be many factors. I think um, the main one would perhaps be the fact that we're not going to the Olympic Games. Um, so I guess if you kind of look at the Matildas as a whole, for those that want to, I guess, keep building on their passion for the game and just stay interested almost, they're sourcing those opportunities to be going overseas and that's just something really important I think for us all to be rolling over because it is a pretty, you know, it's a, it's a downer of a year I guess in terms of our international duties so something like this will be a new experience for all of us and hopefully be able to pursue I guess our football and, and build on our school base so that we do qualify for the Olympics and World Cups of the future. Yeah, I mean, it'd be good quality competition in Germany, also not going to the Olympics, bit of a surprise there. Um, what are you hoping to get out of your season overseas? I would love to be able to, um, I guess, obviously play football um, and play and, I guess, impose my style of the game um, into throughout throughout my team and I don't know I've never actually played overseas before so it's all really really new to me but I think it'll be really cool to get in touch with that sort of nomadic soul of mine and really embrace the culture and of course I want to improve as a footballer um, but as well as that just make the most of living in a foreign country. Yeah you took a, a bit of time off football and now it seems that you've jumped straight back in and you're really uh, you know it's all about the football now how's that sort of balance working out for you? Yeah I mean it's it's, it's always been a really important thing for me to have in my career that, that balance or at least claim I was um, pursuing some kind of balance but I guess going overseas and playing professionally hasn't really um, been a consideration for me but like I said to build on the passion that I guess I've now um, I do have a renewed sense of passion for the game and that's from having my break to then coming back and having a interesting time with the Matildas over the past couple of years and obviously with the W League I just really want to maintain whatever I've got that I'm finding and, and hopefully um, you know, one day represent Australia again and really make a difference. It seems there's a bit more joy back in your game. Is um, is that anything to do with Yitka or, and Canberra? What's, what's sort of um, brought that on? I think it has a lot to do um, with our coaching staff and in particular in particular Yitka for, certainly for the season and it is that European influence um, I don't know that there'd be several factors in terms of why I'm enjoying it so much but it, it, you can see it out on the pitch just how much we're all enjoying it and you can really it's easy to enjoy it when you're winning <laughs> But it's not as if we ever rest on our laurels when we're out there and we're not at all complacent about the way that we attack a match and it just so happens that we can, you know, be encouraging each other when we make mistakes and I mean that's only something very subtle and very small but it can make a huge difference, especially when some of the girls are quite, you know, vulnerable at times in terms of making mistakes and, and not so familiar with how to react in the tougher times of a game but to be able to be, you know, nice and positive and, and that really does stem from the coaching staff and infiltrate through the team. Fantastic. And one last question. How's your German? <laughs> I was just going to be like, I straight away thought of swearing. <laughs> so, like, it's just awful. So I um, I know how to say I'm very cold. Ich bin kalt. <laughs> and I think I'll be using that a lot. <laughs> it's quite possible. Well, good luck. Keep us in touch. Um, keep in touch with us on how you go. And um, yeah, best of luck. Thank you very much.